Hey everybody, it's Brandon. I've got a pay what you want product to show you on Drive Through RPG, much like I do almost every weekday. Uh, if it's either free or pay what you want, and this one is the Old Skull Swords and Sorcery Book One Adventures by Kent David Kelly. Um, so yeah, this is a very large pay what you want product that doesn't have any art. This is the unillustrated version of it. There is a uh, illustrated version that uses all AI art. Um, I'll have a link for that as well, but it's exactly the same uh, words in it. It just uh, this one just doesn't have the art. So table of contents here. Uh, I like how it's got these different sections broken up, like one you know like one four, one five, and then also gives you the page number. So very thorough table of contents. That's very pleasing. And as you can see here, we're on equipment. That's page one sixty six. And as we go, the legal is on 347. Now this book here is just, as you can see on the right there, this is just the adventurer's book. Uh, it does not have anything for the game master or monsters or anything like that. So this is a very impressive amount of work that's gone into this. So it says the OSNS system is a game unto itself, but it also serves as a mega supplement for your favorite BX system of choice for character levels 1 to 20. That is very much true. It says it took over 10 years of de development. Um, it's This is the ultimate guide for old school character creation, providing players and game masters with everything they need to orient themselves in the classic world of fantasy, witchery, and high adventure. Uh, it is it's got a lot of words, tons of words. Now, it's not extremely difficult to read. Uh, it is not bogged down in a bunch of, uh, you know, technical jargon and stuff like that. It, it reads quite well. It's just very, very thorough. I've never seen such a thorough product, even more so than the D&D &D Rules Cyclopedia, which this, to me, this is very much what this is kind of like, but then some, way more than some. So this may not be for everybody, but it could be for everybody. In the fact that if you don't play this game, this is a very good resource as a reference for basic D&D, really almost any edition of D&D. So right here, I'm just to show you, because I can't get through all this, the way of the dice. I mean, it really breaks down everything about understanding dice. Look at here, basic dice notation. It explains what each one of those dice are like. And some of that stuff would be very, obviously, uh, you know, we all know what those things are, but this is breaking it all down for you. And I like the fact that it has percentages. A lot of the rolls and the tables, it tells you the percentage chance of succeeding. Here it's going to break down how you do multi-dice notations. Now, I don't want this video to go too long, but I'd like to say as much as I can about it, but there's almost, there's just too much. Um, we are at page, let's see. Uh, it does have kind of its own setting as well, and it talks about the old school campaign. Um, and it does have some campaign stuff and setting stuff, uh, but that's all, it's not really in your face. It's nothing, it's nothing that seems to be um, pushed towards that. It's just there. Uh, but here we are at page 30 and now we're getting into quick character generation summary. So I like this. It, it has the steps, it has the section, it has the page number. Very helpful. Uh, as it keeps on going, it's going to show you everything you need. Uh, you've got your six abilities and it's going to break down the core concepts for each one of those, the aspect, the qualities and the game mechanics. It's all very helpful stuff. Uh, it may be very uh, routine for a lot of us, but as a resource, this is very, very good. And I like these power tiers telling you, you know, what those mean. Uh, should you be a mortal average of 9 to 12? Very good. And it has different ability generation systems that you can use. And it has these optional rules too. And it's very clearly, uh, you know, written. And you can see that that's an optional rule. And so here we've got, we finally get table 10 strength. We're at page 43. It uses burden points, it seems, for kind of like encumbrance or maximum carrying capacity. Uh, and then it it has, you know, it breaks it all down there at the bottom. That's very helpful. Uh, and it tells you which each one of these, like intelligence 9 to 12, the character's vocabulary is normal and fairly ex extensive. They can read and write their own native languages. And it does that for each one, 13 to 15. So just right there, you could, should, should kind of see what you're getting into. But this is pay what you want. And if you really like it, of course, uh, you know, send some money uh, his way. Or, you know, you want to pick up the one that's got AI-generated art which that's not a problem for me, but I know it is for some people. Um, and then there's descriptors of intelligence. So like intelligent for extremely stupid or moronic or stupid and preposterous. 
So it, it's got some stuff I just wasn't expecting to see that, again, really, really thorough. I like this. Wisdom, Revelation, Insanity. It tells you about should you see like a minor Lovecraftian entity for the first time. Uh, what the intensity of that would be, the sanity loss if you succeeded, like this thing would be none, but the sanity loss would be 1d3, an average of 2. So it gives you stuff like averages, it gives you stuff like the percentages. Uh, it's all very useful for any person that's playing any type of real fantasy role-playing game, or of course a D&D type game. Now I'm just going to start scrolling. I'd love to be able to tell you more about it. Um, it does have some races here. It's got humans. It's got, uh, it has some different names too, like the elves are called Alfar, I think they're called, or Shire Folk uh, for halflings. It tells you about humans, of course. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce the dwarven names. So I'll probably butcher that. Uh, all the different abilities that they get, surpassing uh, level limits. And then, of course, like this, Ascendant, Demi Humans, Demi Human Heroes of Fateful Power. More optional rules. I mean, this is optional rule 21. We're on page 78. Um, and then you've got your classes here. Uh, you've got clerics, fighters, and wiz and magic users. So it's all broken down really well. And so I'm going to show you one thing I really it's interesting. Combat roll targets. So it tells you what you need to roll. If you need an 8 plus, 1 to 7 is going to be a miss. 8 to 20 is going to be a hit. And we all know that, but it tells you the percentage chance of what that would be. Very helpful. And here's the fighter. Um... Yeah, just huge. Here's a bunch of abilities they can get, feats they can get, the sorcerer, the magic user, um, titles for them. And then we've got clerics, and I really like this right here. So cleric experience level one versus skeletons. It's, I guess you could call it like maybe a tier or a rank of undead. You turn on a seven plus with a 58.33% chance. And then that's all they can turn. So then when you get level two, you, you can, you're possibly able to turn whites. I like how that's laid out. Very easy. And a lot of it is really explained quite thoroughly. So I, I'm just going to scroll. Uh, it's just not very helpful for you, of course. But go pick this up. To think, see what you think about it. I think, like, look, look right here. There's, there's names here, given names of old Tyrrhenia, which I guess would be like the Roman area. So uh, I'm not probably butchering these names. Given names of Rus for Russia. So there's a lot of great tables in here uh, to help you uh, making your character. Uh, it does say here that all damage, much like in the 1974 edition of D&D, uh, &D, uh, all of the weapons do 1d6 damage. Um, and then there's some optional rules to change that, two-handed damage and so on. And uh, yeah, it's just a very impressive feat that has been accomplished here. Um, there's a bunch of spells, of course, time and research. One word, thorough. Might not be for everybody, though but I think you should definitely check it out and uh, pick it up. It's going to be very useful. If you need some rule or you want to see something, check, take a look at it, and it's going to be right there. So there it is. I'm only on page 263. Um, so, yeah, very impressive. Thanks a lot, guys.